th this group of old linemen, whether we like to say it or not, is much farther ahead than the group of old linemen our first spring. I mean, you want to talk about some dudes that needed some molding and some culture and some. I mean, Ed Warner basically took the weakness of the offense and within 24 months, less than 24 months, turned it into the absolute, hands down, not even close, strength and backbone of the offense. One of the more interesting things we heard uh, this week from uh, offensive coordinator Tom Herman was how, yes, the, this team is replacing four offensive line starters, but that the, that the situation Ed Warren or the offensive line coach and co-offensive coordinator is dealing with is, is much more accelerated than it was two years ago when they inherited that group, which turned into one of the great offensive lines my State's had in a while. And it's really interesting to hear him say that because you, you think when you're going back and replacing four guys, it's uh, almost ground zero. And in fact, it's not ground zero. If it's uh, probably uh, zero to 10, they're probably on ground floor three or four as they look to find uh, those four new starters. Pat Hell finds to earn himself a starting spot. He's a starting offensive lineman at Ohio State. In essence, uh, they've already found one, according to head coach Urban Meyer, Pat Elfline, he said, is a starting offensive lineman now at Ohio State. So we'll see who the other three guys end up being uh, once spring is done and maybe as late as uh, next fall.